Welcome to USB Hole, the podcast where we talk out of our asses. I'm Chill. I'm the child. And today we are going to go back to talking about weird habits, but this is going to be the food edition. Yeah, I mean, we touched base a little bit on some of our weird food things and our regular weird habits, but this is going to like show you even more of how weird we are, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Because we are very weird and picky. Well, at least I'm picky when it comes to food stuff. So I'm sure we could find enough stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's start it off. Tell me one of your weird food habits. Um, Okay. So like broccoli. I love broccoli like fresh or steamed. But I only, oh, I just hit this laptop again. (laughs) I said I was going to try and sit still, but I can't do it. She already I, lost. <laughs> yeah, I like the taste of broccoli. I like the texture. It doesn't bother me, but like cooked or raw, I love it. But I will not eat the stems. I will oh. only eat the floret. Not even like, you know how sometimes if you buy it frozen, which normally I just buy fresh and then I just either have it as a snack or like steam it. But when you buy the florets and they come in, they're like usually like longer, like they just slice it down the side and try to make it look fancy, but it's just all fucking stem. Yeah, (laughs) I cut all that off. I do not like it. It's absolutely disgusting. It is one of like three foods that will literally make me throw up if I eat it. Oh, wow. It's so like at a restaurant, like it doesn't matter how nice the restaurant is. I'm not eating those stems. That's why I don't go to nice restaurants because I feel like all my weird (laughs) habits just makes me look like a child. So I try to avoid that. Yeah, like a raw stem. I'm more likely to eat a little bit more of it if I, you know, if I can get it down, but cook. mm -mm. When I was a kid, I literally threw up my stems on my plate. Like I tried so hard to eat them and I threw them up. And like, ever since then, I just, I can't do it. They taste disgusting. I don't like the texture. And then I also think about that time I threw it up on my plate of food and like, I just, I don't know. It's like a completely different type of food from the top. Yeah, I could see that. And I could see like past traumas affecting how you will eat something or like something. Um, I think it's funny because I like the stems and I kind of hate the tops. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think the tops taste kind of grassy or more like flowery than the stems do. But The stems cannot be mush. And I used to not Mm. like broccoli when I was a kid because my mom doesn't really cook. So like they would just be all mushy and that would make me gag. But Mm. if you leave them a little bit like crunchy and a little soft and then just sprinkle like salt and pepper on them, I prefer the stems. Oh gosh, I hate it. Like when, (laughs) when we were younger, like for holidays and stuff, my parents would always buy like broccoli and cauliflower and those like frozen blocks like have you ever Mm -hmm. seen those yeah and like when you open those it's like 85 percent stem and like 15 percent floret (laughs) and so gross they would like try and put them on like a um like a potato like a baked potato with broccoli and like cheese Mm. and I'm like fuck no it's still disgusting (laughs) I hate them that's so Um, weird yeah I mean I'll eat the whole thing but I prefer the stem yeah I think so that's probably more of like a picky eater thing than a weird habit but I don't know I think it's a good place to start people tell me I'm weird because I'll only eat part of it but well it works because if we eat broccoli together we'll just cut off the tops and you eat the tops and I'll eat the stem exactly which this (laughs) nothing goes to waste (laughs) this is um like related to that but it's not on my list and I don't think it's like a weird habit my sister's (laughs) ex-husband um they were together for a really long time and we were all really close and we're still close friends with him and everything I was an amicable split up and everything but when he used to live with us um when my sister was in college he didn't like the tops of muffins which you know most people love the top he didn't like the top of the muffin and the muffin the top's the best part I mean I'll eat both parts but so like yeah he didn't like the top so we would just always share muffins and I would eat the top and he'd eat the bottom part of the muffin (laughs) I mean, that's perfect. Yeah. I was actually, I was thinking about putting that on my list because I'll eat the bottom part first 
and then save the top for like later like saving the best for last yeah so I'll just be sitting there eating like a muffin bottom (laughs) and then (laughs) like (laughs) holding on to the top and just like ripping the top off so I only eat the top at the very end but you eat the weird part still though right? yeah yeah and I I feel like most people like the tops yeah yeah so it's probably not that that weird but the way you eat it I guess is a little bit weird but not really weird just in a you want to save the best for last like you said yeah in private I do it in public I probably wouldn't do it like that actually I kind of pull it apart anyway so I guess it doesn't really matter But another thing that I eat kind of weird is chicken nuggets. So I will eat chicken nuggets in three bites and I'll have two different dipping sauces. Now and wait, I will. Is this a specific type of chicken nugget or all chicken nuggets? Um, usually the only place I'm eating chicken nuggets is McDonald's. Okay. Like I don't really get nuggets from anywhere else. So I guess McDonald's, but. I'll have two dipping sauces, usually barbecue sauce and ketchup. I know you hate ketchup. And uh, I'll dip it into one, bite it, dip it into the other one, bite it, and then go back to the original one. So I'll just like switch off which one I'm dipping (laughs) on every single nugget. Okay, that I could definitely see how that would be considered weird. And I don't know why, and I don't know when it started, but Mm -hmm. that's just how I've always eaten nuggets. I guess I just want to try all the sauces. Like if I go to somewhere else, I'll use my preferred sauces. It's not always barbecue and ketchup, but I always like switch off so I could have different kinds of flavors, I guess. But so you eat, is it like three nuggets and like this nugget only goes in this sauce and this nugget, or you just take one and you alternate between sauces? It's one and I'll alternate. Okay. 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 Sometimes I like if I want to have more than one sauce, I might do that, but it's not like a all the time thing. Yeah, Most of I the think time, it's every time. Yeah. If I, we probably talked about this before, but like for as far as McDonald's goes, I basically like I'll get nuggets there, but I don't really eat McDonald's a lot. Like I love their French fries, so I'll eat those, yeah. especially if I'm drunk. Ooh, give me some McDonald's fries at night. But uh, McDonald's uh, nuggets, I usually just eat without sauce. What? Yeah, because usually if I'm getting McDonald's nuggets, it's because I'm going somewhere and I haven't eaten all day. And I just need like some sustenance in my stomach because I'm like in a hurry or like um, I'm going to a concert and I'm going to have a couple beers or something. I'll get like stop and get a four piece and just eat them just to put them in my stomach. (laughs) Okay, that's weird. (laughs) If you're listening, Sarah's just like dead face blinking at me. That's weird. I'm I'm a sauce person like you are a sauce whore though I am a sauce whore yeah I love sauce and I can't really fathom that the worst part is sometimes McDonald's will give you like old reheated chicken nuggets and if they don't have sauce I can't eat them so if they're fresh I could give this a pass but if they're like old or kind of stale mm-mm if I open nope. them and they're gross, I'm not going to eat them either way because I'm oh, thinking about I that. Will. Yeah. Because I just like to eat food. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you probably wouldn't eat them if they were gross, gross. Well, it depends. Like if I, I can dunk them in sauce and hide the flavor, why not? Depends on how hungry I am. Or how like crusty they are. Yeah. Ooh, to- I don't know some old crusty ones though that sounds kind of good old crusty <laughs> my old crusty nugs I think I also eat um Wendy's nuggets without sauce sometimes the spicy or the regular regular I don't like spicy nuggets oh my god get out I don't mind the taste of them without sauce but I mean I like I think I use like their sweet and sour sauce but sometimes I feel like choosing the nugget is choosing the healthy 
option. So I'm like, well, if I don't use sauce, then it's, you know what I mean? I mean, it's obviously okay. not actually healthy, but <laughs> sometimes I tell myself that. Like I could have a greasy the breaded, burger, I get this breaded nugget instead. Fried chicken is healthier. Okay. It's healthier than a greasy burger with That's true. bread on it. That's true. Yeah. So. I don't know. I, if I'm getting fast food, I'm already expecting to have the whole experience because I don't eat fast food that much anymore so if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it right yeah um can you hold up that can on your desk this one yeah I was wondering if it was what I thought it was so that's on my list right there you already talked about that oh, in another about episode I would rather fucking die of thirst than have a Dr. Pepper Oh, no, I I thought you were talking about the zero sugar. No, I didn't realize it was a zero sugar. I just saw the top of the can and I thought it was just a Dr. Pepper. No, zero sugar. No, I absolutely talk about it. Yeah, no, I absolutely hate the taste of Dr. Pepper. I don't drink a lot of soda, but if I do like like Coke or like a vanilla Coke, like Coke Zero, I actually prefer Coke Zero over regular Coke usually, but every now and then if I'm like craving a soda, I'm craving like a vanilla Coke, but can you say that word again? Vanilla Coke. You making fun of the way I said Coke? (laughs) No, I was making fun of the way you say vanilla. Why? What did I say? You were saying vanilla. Vanilla. You were saying vanilla. 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 Yeah. Whatever. If I can go back to (laughs) Illinois. (laughs) Um, You also say milk. I do say milk, like M E L K. Is how I pronounce milk. Yeah. That's how you pronounce vanilla. Okay. This is going to be an episode <laughs> of us roasting each other's accents. Um, yeah. But no, I would rather freaking die of starvation than drink a Dr. Pepper. Why? Not starvation. Dehydration? <laughs> I'd rather dehydrate to a crisp in the middle of the desert, a slow, painful death, than drink a Dr. Pepper. It tastes so fucking disgusting. It's so good. It's my favorite. I'd rather drink cough medicine all day. Jordan's gonna hate you. It's disgusting. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I can't drink anything with vanilla in it anymore, like pop, like Coke, or... Pretty much anything, Dr. Pepper, anything with vanilla, because for some reason it reminds me of like a Coke and rum. And I used to drink that way too much when I was younger. And I think it was like Jameson, maybe. I don't even know what that is, but I. Jameson is an Irish whiskey. Yeah. I got so drunk. And that was probably the only time that I got really sick from drinking. And like a whole slew of other things happened I don't want to talk about. But so now like the taste of the vanilla Coke reminds me of that. I didn't know there was vanilla in Dr. Pepper. They have vanilla Dr. Pepper, yeah. Oh, just a specific flavor of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying like in general, because I'm like, how are you drinking it then? I misunderstood what you were saying. I don't know. It has like, what, 13 different flavors or something. So maybe it has vanilla in it. I don't pay attention. I had that problem with root beer schnapps. Have you ever had root beer schnapps? Um, no, but that sounds disgusting. Schnapps in general is pretty disgusting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, when I was a teenager, I really didn't drink a lot when I was a teenager, but sometimes we would have like parties at our house, um, like New Year's Eve parties or whatever. And then so my parents would let us have some drinks because we would stay home and not go anywhere and be supervised, whatever. So like I think when I was like 18, <laughs> me and one of my parents' friends were drinking the repair schnapps because he would always bring it because there's only like one place you could get it. And he used to drive like an hour to go get it and he would always bring it to all the New Year's Eve parties. An hour and to go get schnapps stuff. <laughs> it was root beer schnapps because he loved it. He used to make these special drinks with it. But so we were, the one night we were just doing like shots of it, like going shot for shot. Oh, so God. like I had two bottles of it and he had two bottles of it just doing shots because I mean, it's not the super high alcohol content but like the sugar in that oh my god it was just it was horrible I can't even think about it now without like my stomach just turning just thinking about it but I love root beer still 
But yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, it was horrible. My brother used to get silly off of peppermint schnapps. Yeah. Like, what was it about the late 90s, early 2000s that was just all all about about the schnapps? Yeah. Yeah. People used to go nuts down here. Like, all the girls would drink like peach schnapps in Zima. Yeah. I I don't mind. Well, Zima is a little different than a schnapps, but. But that was like the drink of the 90s. Yeah. It's like dirty dishwater. What it tastes like. (laughs) <laughs> that's went from weird habits to disgusting alcohol we drink as teens um, i got zima a couple years ago and brought it yeah. to my friend's house because me and her like super 90s kids like obsessed with alanis morissette like grew up in the 90s and we were both like we need to have zima so i brought it to her house she didn't drink any of it and i just had like six zimas <laughs> and i was oh. like i'm not having a good time anymore <laughs> Yeah, that's like the Zima is like the white claw of the 90s. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or like the Smirnoff ice. It kind of tastes like yeah. a Smirnoff ice. Yeah, it's just um, they have all the flavors and stuff. Like, yeah, it was just one flavor. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you say the name of that drink again? Zima? No, the other one. Schnapps? No, the, the word before ice. <laughs> Smirnoff ice? <laughs> say it again. Smirnoff. Oh, when you said it before, you said Smirnoff. Smirnoff. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Play it back <laughs> when you edit well, this episode. I'll have to listen. I to was this like, later, hey, yeah. if we're roasting each other, Smirnoff. Smirnoff. <laughs> Smirnoff. There um, is no H in that word. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know who's up. Um, I can okay. go. Okay. So anytime I eat pizza. And Mm, there is crust, which there usually always is. Um, (laughs) I take a bite of the crust and then I take a swig of my drink at the same time. Is it because the crust is too dry for you? Um, I don't know because I don't remember how it started. It's just like a habit now, but... I think part of it is that because I have really sensitive teeth. So depending on the crust, it's a lot easier to get down if it's a little mushy. Um, I don't like mushy textures though. So I don't know why I do this. It's just the tiniest amount of pop, but I think like, especially Coke, Coke is the best with pizza and it just complements the crust so well. I don't. Does it taste good together? Like, is it a flavor thing? Oh, it tastes good to me, but I always feel so self-conscious and I know Eddie's probably seen me do it, but like when I do it, I try and like look away <laughs> because I don't want I anyone to, to see me doing it. I might have to give that a try. I mean, it's not bad. I know people who do it with milk and that's disgusting. Ooh. People, dr- my mom drinks milk with pizza and she's been doing it my whole life. Like she'll drink milk with all her dinners. And I used to have to drink milk because she would pour it for me at the dinner table. And eventually I was like, mom, I cannot do this anymore. That's so gross. But um, yeah, she, I, I've heard people will dunk their pizza in milk and eat it like that just on a normal day. I mean, we used to drink milk a lot with our meals, but like I never put, no, ew, that sounds gross. I know and I think I Not get it because weird, it, just gross it like people do it with Italian food too I guess it probably offsets the acidity of the sauce but I don't think sauce tomato sauce to me is that acidic <laughs> like I don't have really intestinal problems so well, that I mean, doesn't uh, bother me but I don't know why they do it I'm gonna try the um taking a sip of your well, well, I guess it's not a, any kind of drink or just specifically like cola. It's got to be like a dark cola. A dark cola. Like a dark pop. Okay, I'll try. I'll try that with a dark cola or soda. <laughs> like, but I'm not having a pop. I've done it. Stop. I've done it with Dr. Pepper, Coke, and root beer. And all okay. three have worked. So pick your I'll poison. Try. I will try that with something that's not Dr. Pepper. And do not dip it because that's disgusting. It has no. to be like a tiny like, sip. Take a sip. Okay. I'm going to try that. Because then it doesn't get too mushy too quick. 
like your teeth are still doing all the work but it yeah. gives it a little bit of that texture oh we'll try know. that um on the topic of dipping stuff in your drinks i did my co- um uh, my coffee i dip toast in coffee in my coffee like most of the time i'll eat like the soft buttered center but then like around the outside two trailer park girls go and <laughs> dip the <laughs> um but no around the outside of the toast um like where you it's not as buttery or you have might have like the crust or it's a little bit harder or whatnot I did that in my coffee and I don't know if I actually like it or if it's just like a nostalgia thing because when I was a little like five or six my grandma used to have coffee and she would let me dip my toast into it so I do that all the time now like every time I go to breakfast like I'll get my crappy diner coffee and just like dip my toast crust into it and eat it i've never seen anybody else grandma she was just (laughs) drinking some toast crusty ass coffee Uh, i don't know like i cannot remember if she was dipping her toast into the coffee and that's why i did it or if i just used to dip my toast into her coffee but so it might just be a nostalgia thing and I might not actually enjoy the taste of it because the textures, you leave it in there too long, you have some soggy ass bread <laughs> and I'm not really into soggy textures, but. I think that's probably yeah. the same concept as me drinking the drink with the pizza. You should try taking a bite of the toast and then drinking the coffee. Maybe that'll make it taste better because it won't get too soggy. But I like the idea of dipping it in there. Have you never heard of biscotti? Like, yeah, what's wrong with you? But just use that's meant for dipping. I know, but I don't know. Maybe I like I said, it might be just the nostalgia part of it. Could be. I would try it, but I literally never have bread or a toaster. So (laughs) you don't have a toaster? No, I thought you knew this. You need to get a toaster oven. No, my because toaster oven? I'm going back to that thing where I don't want too many things on my counter. That's why I don't have a rice cooker. I am the rice cooker. So you need to get what I have. And it is like a two one. Like it's a toaster oven, but there's like a switch you can like pull across the top and then it switches and it opens the top and there's a four slice toaster in the top of the toaster oven. So it's two appliances in one. But it already has toaster in the name. You can just put the toast in the oven. No, part. fuck that. It is not the same thing as putting toast in the toaster. You want to put a pop tart inside a toaster oven and get the same I results? Have. It's you're not getting the same results. I used you to have a toaster the same oven. Results? No, you got to do the toast at the top and the oven in the middle. I had just bought an air fryer. Do you think I could do it with an air fryer? Um, that's not a toaster. I mean, you're not toasting. I know, it, but air that's that's the closest thing I'm gonna have it's better than microwaving right did you find it did you find one on Black Friday an air fryer Mm -hmm. yeah cool 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 well you're gonna have to try you're gonna have to get bread just to tell me if it makes good toast I don't even eat bread I know okay well then try with it you don't eat pop tarts either probably I'm sure Eddie eats I do have pop tarts I have some the cabinet I don't eat them because I don't have a fucking toaster try it with the air fryer okay I'm gonna air fry pop tarts and let y'all know I'll dip it in coffee too because that sounds good pop tarts are pretty fire when you don't cook them too Mm -mm. strawberry pop tarts okay yeah the fruit ones are okay if I don't toast have... them. The only Pop-Tarts I like are the strawberry ones, to be honest. I think we have s'mores ones, which you need to get that like hot gooey s'mores middle for it to be good. Yeah. If it's just plain, it's like, meh. Uh, see, and I would only eat that as like a dessert or a snack. I would not want to have that for breakfast. I don't eat breakfast, so that is a moot point. Mm-hmm. I like the strawberry ones, even like if you don't cook them, I'm down with that too. I can do the fruit ones if you don't cook them, because I feel like the fruit ones are okay and they're still like goopy in the middle and stuff, but all the rest of them with like chocolate and everything, it gets too hard if they're not warm. Oh. Uh-huh. And they're not I don't good. think I would like the other ones untoasted. 
yeah it's not good I give them to Eddie sometimes but I'm not eating them until I get a toaster <laughs> I'll try them in the air fryer and let everyone know how it goes okay and um, uh, let us know how you guys eat your pop tarts <laughs> or try some of the things we do and tell us how weird we are yeah and also tell us some of your weird eating habits. Hit us up at Chill and Child on Twitter. Yeah, maybe we'll try some of them and report back and let everyone know what we think. Yeah. Except yeah. for we're not super adventurous people, so I can't make any promises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so my next one is kind of more of a story than a weird eating habit. So... When I was younger, my brother's brother was sleeping over and in the morning we wanted fruity pebbles, but my mom didn't buy any milk and she was asleep and the rest of us didn't have a license. So the only thing liquid we had in our fridge was Mountain Dew Code Red. So we put the Mountain Dew Code Red no. in the fruity pebbles no and this story still gets brought up all the time it was disgusting the worst thing I have ever eaten and I can't remember what Ben said but I have a feeling neither of us liked it and we probably wasted like half a box of fruity pebbles but I want I want stuff like this to be sent in because I want to try these weird creations because that is a flop do not try it (laughs) I mean, if it's something that people are actually, don't do it just because you want to be yeah. weird and send something in. You got to like actually eat it. Yeah. Don't make us do weird shit just to do weird shit. Like tell me something that you love. That's weird. Like some people put, what is it? American cheese on apple pie. Yeah. Personally, I think that's gross, but it's like a kind of popular thing. Yeah, I've never tried it, but I'm not opposed to doing it. I just never have apple pie or American cheese in my house, so. Um, I I think I've tried it, but I don't think that I enjoyed it. I do like cheese with chocolate chip cookies. Like <laughs> American doing cheese? That blank. <laughs> yeah, like specifically like a cheese sauce. Like a liquid, like a liquid cheddar, probably over American because I really don't like American cheese. Um, like a liquid yeah. cheddar and just like dip like a Chips Ahoy in it. I ate a lot of those when I was in my early twenties. I ate some snacks like that. Mind you, I did smoke a lot of marijuana in my early twenties, so that could have had something to do with it. But it was a go-to snack: right. cheese and chocolate chip cookies. I don't even know what to say because I don't even like cookies. <laughs> What the Let fuck alone. is wrong with you? You don't like cookies? I don't dislike cookies. I just don't prefer cookies. Like, out of all the sweet things to eat, cookies are very low on my list. So unless you they're pie? like, unless they're like artisanal cookies, <laughs> I'm okay with those. Like crumble, I could fucks with some crumble. Cookies. Yeah, or like insomnia cookies. They're pretty good, but. I don't know, like Chips Ahoy, anything you buy from the store that are pre-packaged, those are nasty. I don't, like, if I eat cookies now, like, I don't get, like, I wouldn't buy a Chips Ahoy, and I fucking hate Oreos, you know that, but, like, I'll eat, like, a bakery-made cookie, um, but when I was younger, I ate the Chips Ahoy, like I said, I was, like, in my early 20s. If but. you have milk with cookies, do you dip the cookie in milk or do you take a bite of the cookie and then drink the milk um there's a theme going on here oh gosh so cookies it's gonna depend on the type of cookie it is how i eat it again i think a lot of my snack food habits probably all come back to the way that i i didn't eat when i was younger like a kid or teenager i didn't really eat snacks and junk food um mostly my early 20s is when I ate all that stuff and I like I said also smoked a lot of marijuana so that's probably where all my snacking habits came from but so it depends on the type of cookie some cookies I will give like a like a quick little dunk and a wiggle and take it out and eat it but I don't go back in on a second one I eat the rest of it hard and then sometimes I'll like eat a that's cookie and said. if it's like really dry <laughs> if it's really dry I'll take a sip of the milk but I also don't always do that. But I do like what I like to call cookie soup. Oh, God, which my here we favorite, go. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
my favorite kind of cookie soup. It's like the bomb and you have to try this. Get the little, so they're always going to be like a generic brand because there's no like real brand that makes these. Like the little sandwich cookies, like they come like vanilla or chocolate or whatever. But vanilla? you have to get okay. the, the peanut butter ones. So it's like peanut butter cookie with peanut butter filling. And you get the those and you lay them in the bottom of your bowl, like a small, not deep bowl, like four or five of them in the bottom of the bowl and then put a little bit of milk in there and then leave it for a couple minutes so they start to get soft. And you just kind of like crunch them with your, <laughs> stop making that face. I didn't do that when you told me about, you like fucking broccoli stems. <laughs> and then you just crunch them with your spoon a little bit and they start to fall apart. And then you eat it like it's soup, but <laughs> it's milk and fucking peanut butter cookies. It's so fucking good. I can't it's stop making the face because this is making <laughs> me want to vomit. What? Why? You don't like peanut butter cookies? No, I don't like things that are mushy. That's why I don't. No, dunk you eat them before they're mushy. You just let it no. get a little bit soft, and then you they crunch, and you eat it like it's soup. I want my liquids and solids to only connect in my mouth, not anywhere else. I How don't do want them soup? to connect in a bowl. I don't want them to connect. Well, soup is a different beast. I'm talking about sweet things. Okay. I don't dip my cookies because I don't want the cookie remnants in the liquid. Okay. Yeah, I get that. That grosses me out because then you go and take a drink of it and there's just shit floating all in it. And I'm like gagging. What if you had two different ones, like one for sipping and one for dipping? Sip and dip. Invent a cup called the sip and dip and has a divider in the middle. I want to for sip it. <laughs> when you go to sip it, it's just gonna spill all over. It's gonna you. all go, a or it's gonna go invention. into the other side. <laughs> that was a horrible invention. No, because I want the bite to be a crisp bite. And then I want the liquid to come in later. So okay. that it's still almost fully a solid until it's ready <laughs> to go. <laughs> Sounds like poop talk. <laughs> no, we're not doing any poop talk. <laughs> Um, okay, well, if you don't want to try it, maybe our listeners will try to make cookie soup and tell me how they like it. You gotta get the peanut butter ones, they're hard to find. That's just cookie crisp cereal. No, it's not. Fuck a cookie crisp cereal. That shit's that shit was gross. So bad. You know what's good though? If y'all want to sponsor us, we'll we'll eat it. Yeah, I think it's just (laughs) Nabisco. Um but Oreo, the Oreo O's, those are pretty fire mm, for a cookie cereal. Have you tried the Oreo O's? They don't even taste like Oreos. I have tried them and I still don't like them. They're, they taste like worse Oreos, honestly. I don't even like cookies and cream ice cream because it just tastes like Oreo and I don't like oh, it. Oh, get the fuck out. Yeah. The next thing is probably going to gross you out a lot. Um, I put ketchup on my eggs. It doesn't gross me out because I can't smell it. Well, yeah, because you're not next to me while I'm yeah. doing it. It's the smell of the ketchup that grossed me out. I know, actually, but I think a lot of people do that. I would prefer like syrup. So if I'm getting like pancakes, don't make fun of how I said that. If no. I get <laughs> on your eggs, you put yeah. syrup on your eggs. Yeah. So it's more like the runoff from the pancake or the waffle or the French toast. Like it gets into the eggs and the sausage and I'll just like, I'll just eat it like that. I don't know. Okay. If it's made well, like if the eggs are made well, I usually get scrambled. So if they're made well and have enough seasoning and stuff, I just won't put anything on them. Like if they're nice and soft and fluffy and, but sometimes it's like, yeah. I need some. I think it's, I think probably on scrambled eggs, this people put ketchup on it. Well, yeah, imagine putting it on like, do do people put it on like runny eggs or like hard boiled? I think just like scramb, you put it on hard boiled eggs? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, of course it's scrambled. just scrambled, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've seen people put, I've seen people put ketchup on like a, over easy or like a fried egg but i think that's even more gross than a scrambled yeah that's probably weirder than my yeah thing i don't know if they're fluffy enough like i'll eat them just put salt and pepper on it but yeah if they're dried out 
I need a little moisture. I like moisture here. You it's just because you fucking want to put a dip. That's your way of getting yes. it in something. <laughs> That's, That's exactly my way of getting the sauce. Doing. Yeah. Sauce. Um, I um use the I don't know if you would call it juice or sauce, but I always call it juice. Like you know when you make like oh, baked God. beans. Don't oh god me before you even know what I'm about to say. You know, you like call it beans. juice. <laughs> you know, like baked beans, like especially if it comes from like a can, like bushes baked bean. How, how I like it has beans. like I don't care. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like the, the beans. Is sauce. it juice or is it sauce? What is it's it? I call it juice. Whatever. I use that like a condiment. Oh, on what? A fucking anything. Put it on a hot oh. dog. Put it on a burger. What kind of beans? Like, like what baked, specifically? Like baked beans. Like barbecue baked beans or just regular? What the fuck's the difference between a barbecue baked bean and a regular baked bean? Like a baked bean. One like tastes like get, barbecue. Like, like Bush's baked beans. I don't know. Like home style Bush's baked beans. I like to use that particular kind. Like a sauce on stuff. Is there not a difference between regular and barbecue? I thought barbecue was just like when they were super thick and you like made them at home and they were like not runny. I don't know. Like I figured it was something like they put barbecue sauce or like brown sugar in it. Um, well, like they the do have barbecue. And... Okay, well, not oh. barbecue because they're probably like maple and brown sugar. Don't play me like there ain't no barbecue. <laughs> yeah, I like to use that like a sauce. Even like the macaroni and cheese, it's good on. It's pretty much that fun on anything. Good. Yeah, use it like, you know, you're the sauce queen. Put it on anything. Dip anything in it. It's so good. Like toast? I that mean, I don't good. think I've tried it with toast, but like a roll, yeah. I mean, I think it's in England. They eat just like baked beans, beans on toast. toast. Yeah. Not the so same it can't be too beans, bad. But yeah. No, it's the Heinz ones. Yeah. Um, they have them at World Market if you want to try it. I don't like the Heinz kind. Oh, I haven't yeah. tried them. Um, yeah, like if I make like burgers at home, like uh, not the beans themselves, just the sauce. Like I'll put on the top of the burger, like on top of the cheese and I'll, like soak into the meat and shit. Like it's like a fucking aioli or something. <laughs> See, I think if you got the barbecue kind, that would taste really good to me. Because it would be good. like barbecue yeah. sauce with beans. Yeah, maybe. I'll try I like it with the barbecue. A lot. But I like the brown sugar and like the maple ones. And I also like, so if I make that particular kind of beans, like the canned beans, not like if you make beans, you know, like I'll cook them the first go around, like heat them up because obviously they're already cooked. But yeah. if there's leftovers, I just eat them straight out of the fridge. Like refrigerator temperature. I don't heat them up. That's how I prefer I don't see any harm in that. Yeah. If they came out of the can refrigerator temperature, I would never heat them up to begin with. Oh, why don't you just put your cans in the fridge then? I never thought about that until just now. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't occur to me that you could probably just put them in the fridge. That's so funny. So try I that feel like on here. I prefer them heated, but I would definitely, I'll dip anything in a sauce, man. Like I'll, yeah, I'll do that. I don't ever buy beans because if I'm having a burger, it's probably a HelloFresh burger if I'm cooking it myself. And they usually give you potatoes to make like French fries. Yeah. So it'll be like baked fries, but. Okay. So get a get small beans. can of beans because they make like little small ones. Yeah. Get a can of that and also put your fucking fries in it. <laughs> put I mean, everything I'm you're going to eat for dinner, dip it in the bean juice. <laughs> I will dip anything in anything. You know me. Yeah. I'm gonna try this. I don't think it can be called a sauce though. Like it's not a gravy. It's too no. runny to be a sauce. It's like I think it's juice. too runny to be a gravy. I think it's the perfect yeah, it's not thing a gravy. to be a sauce. It's a, it's a juice. No. It's a I juice. mean when I'm saying it, I'll say bean juice because I think it's funny. But I don't think I don't know. What would you call it? What do you call? I call it bean juice. Um, apparently it's called aquafaba. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So there you go. I don't think that's what it's called. It is. What is the liquid from beans called? Aquafaba. You okay, probably never knew it had a name, but that thick beans, liquid. Though? That thick liquid in a can of beans and legumes is called aquafaba. Okay, but that's when they're by themselves. We're talking specifically baked beans. It says all beans, all canned beans. No, you're you're thinking about uncooked bean, like just regular beans. Like you get a can of kidney beans and it has like that thick juice stuff or like black beans. It's, I'm looking it up. It says it's aquafaba or just liquid, bean liquid. It's juice. (laughs) It's liquid. You heard it here, folks. It's juice. All right, whatever. We'll agree to disagree. Tweet us and tell us what you would call it. Oh, there's an urban dictionary, bean juice. No, we don't need to hear that. We do. (laughs) We're talking about food right now. It's a cool way to say coffee. Oh, duh. Oh. (laughs) I knew that. (laughs) Oh, gosh. You have another one? Yeah. So um, on the topic of barbecue, even though that kind of wasn't, when I eat pizza, my preferred pizza is just barbecue sauce and cheese. That is it. That's good. I like to get it like that, but with bacon. I hate bacon. So that's why it's weird because it's literally just plain cheese. And Rosati has perfected this for me. Just the Rosati's and Carol Stream specifically. No one knows what I'm talking about. But their barbecue sauce was like the perfect sweetness. It's got to be a sweet barbecue sauce. None of that tangy bullshit. It's got to be a sweet pizza barbecue sauce. And then I thickums layer of cheese on a double dough crust a double dough crust yeah that's the perfect what, what pizza that? what's a double, dough, what crust? double dough is no dude i never worked at a pizza place oh, god so double dough is basically double the dough and then on the ends you like fold it over itself so you just like roll it up on around the edges and then it's like super it's thick but it's soft i'm not understanding what you mean by roll it over itself is that not called a crust yeah so the crust at the end it's a double dough crust the very edge where you would just normally let it cook and you wouldn't put toppings all the way up you roll that over so it's kind of like a stuffed crust without anything stuffed in it oh so it'd just be like it's just more crust (laughs) like a thick like a bojo's crust Obviously, it's a different of, type of dough, but... But, yeah, not that Bojo's is, like, a airy. bit quick. Yeah, uh, Bojo's is a little too airy. This is... The whole thing is crust. So, like I said, if it was a stuffed crust, the stuffing would be crust. Mm. But it's that nice and good. soft. Yeah. It's my favorite kind. I think... Don't quote me. I think it's more of a Chicago thing to have double dough. Because most people I tell don't know what that is. I've never heard of that before. But Rosati's does it if there's a Rosati's by you. It's a franchise and it's nationwide. So they should have double dough. Oh, I've not heard of Rosati's either. Um, it's probably in Tampa because that's where everything is yeah. by you. It could also be maybe it just has like a different name here instead of double dough. It could be. I don't know. Nobody fucking nobody in Florida knows how to make fucking pizza. It's all horrible. It's trash. I had pizza in florida once and i wanted to die like i literally threw (laughs) it out it was i don't (laughs) pizza is my life and i i'll eat i'll eat any pizza you give me like it can have onions on it i hate onions it can have onions on it and i will eat it because it's pizza but you give me that florida trash one more time (laughs) i swear to god that is the only pizza i have ever thrown out in my entire life and it was at a Wonder Works. Do you know what that is? The upside mm-hmm. down house? Mm-hmm. Terrible. Well, I mean, that's what you get for eating at a Wonder Works. I know. There were <laughs> little kids with us. I didn't have a choice. Um, we used to have a good pizza place nearby. It was like a local place. And they were in business for like 35 years. And the property owner sold the property so that he could make a bunch of money. And a car wash could be built. And the pizza place had to close. And... Now there's never been another good pizza place in this area. 
That's so depressing. Like when your yeah. place closes. Yeah. How far is Old Smar from you? Don't dox yourself. Um, well, you can go any direction from Old Smar. That's so true. yeah, it's not on a coast thing. Uh it's like 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, depending on what part of Old Smar. Can you please go to Rosati's? Was there one there? Yeah. We'll see. I don't I never find myself just out and about in Oldsmar. My cousins oh. used to live there like 10 years ago. Well, they lived there for like 10 years, but they moved like 10 years ago. So they live on a boat now. Good luck finding them. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Ridiculous. I know. Um, there's another one in Valrico, but that looks even further from you. Valrico is much further, yeah. Yeah. It's new. Try it. It's so good. It has double dough, I'm sure. Um, we've gotten very okay. off the oh. deep end here. Okay. Well, while we're talking about pizza. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've had this conversation with you before, but I don't think we talked about it on the podcast about how I eat my leftover pizza. We, we probably have, but I don't remember it. So what do you, if you have pizza left over, what do you do with it? Like say you order like not chain pizza, like not a Domino's pizza. If I, I have Domino's it, pizza left over, I put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge. But if I have I like- keep regular, everything in the box. Like New York style pizza, what do you do with it if you had some left? I put it in the fridge. In the box? Yeah. Yeah, I don't do that. Oh. I put it, leave it in the box and I put it in the oven. What if it has meat on it? Same thing. You're good. Like pepperoni, just put it in the oven overnight. How do you not get sick? I, I can know. I can leave a piece of chicken out for like five minutes and then all of a sudden my stomach is fucked up because I ate it. Five minutes. <laughs> Cheryl could hear me talking and she just sent me a text that says, I leave it in a box and put it in the oven. <laughs> it's so bad. How do you not um, have no. never? My this sister is why you have IBS. Thing. No, my sister does the same thing. She doesn't have IBS. And my sister and her husband are like clean eaters. And uh, my dad does the same thing. And he's in his 60s. And I've met a lot of people that do the same thing. Because some people think it's so fucking weird, which I get it. it. It is weird. But it tastes disgusting if you put it somewhere else. And I don't heat it up. I take it out of the oven and just fucking eat it just like that. It only works with like real New York style pizza. Like, I have to shit just thinking about this. <laughs> there is no way in no. hell I can do this. I don't think it's weird. I think it's extremely unsanitary. And aren't you a germaphobe? What? There's no germs aren't touching it. It's in the box and it's in the oven. So As not soon as like, you open that, there's bacteria immediately like that. As soon as it gets put in that box, there's bacteria in there. Exactly. And the fridge it's keeps cheese. the bacteria from being icky. Oh, it's great. Um, well, first of all, Rosati's in Florida has double dough, so you're welcome. Also, I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> double dough. Tell us about it. I need to hear. Everybody tweet us at Chillin' Child. What do you do with your leftover Please. pizza? Don't tweet me. Tweet the child official. What's your new name? I don't Some know. Something about child USB about holes. USB holes. I don't even tweet her because I don't want to talk about it. Well, it's not like you're going to check it anyway. That's true. I have Boom, notifications. Triggered. I don't. Uh, what is it? <laughs> it's a uh, at USB hold the child. God, there's four notifications on here. I haven't checked it. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna like that. Okay. There's four notifications. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So uh, moving on from that. Can't put um, this person in charge of social media. <laughs> We asked you guys to give us feedback, but we don't even check it. No one gives me feedback anyway. So once y'all start giving me feedback, I'll start checking the fucking Twitter, okay? In the last episode, you said, well, whatever, I don't check it anyway. That's true. I did say that. Um, I'll check it. I check it all the time. I can't log into it, but I can go on there and look. I have a private Twitter. Just find me if you really need me. Just give me the login to the Twitter. It's fine. No one talks to us. 
All right. So my next one is kind of on the same basis of gross meat things. Oh, um, we can talk about your gross meat, but not mine. <laughs> yeah, because mine is just mine is more normal and not unhealthy for you. So I can't stand the smell of raw meat. It grosses me out to the point where I am on the verge of becoming a vegetarian because I am the one that cooks dinner every night and I just, especially pork, I can't take it. But the worst offender is grass-fed beef. And I think I told you this last week when I was talking about the lasagna. Mm -hmm. Grass-fed beef to me smells like a barn And it tastes like a barn, even after you cook it. Because a lot of times the meat will not taste or smell like raw meat after I cook it, obviously, because it's not raw anymore. But for some reason, the (laughs) grass I really hope it doesn't taste like raw meat after you cook it. Well, sometimes meat still tastes like meat. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it tastes very meaty, and I can't handle that. And grass-fed literally tastes and smells like it it's direct from the barn like we did not do anything to this like the cow came up from the barn and just landed on my plate like there was no in between here and it grosses me out because I already can't think of where my food has come from when I'm eating it if I want to eat meat because if I start thinking about it I have to throw it out so the fact that it still smells and tastes like a barn I can't do it because now I'm thinking about it. I think that might be a new thing with the it specifically being for grass fed. What if somebody didn't tell you if it was grass fed? Like, can you taste the difference? I can immediately taste the difference. Yeah. Like Eddie accidentally. Well, I don't think it was an accident because I think he prefers it. But he bought it once and I didn't realize because I don't read things. I just cook them. And I bit into it and immediately got nauseous. Like I couldn't take it. I can smell it while cooking. So I already knew, like I knew before, even if I didn't read it, I knew while I was cooking it that it was grass fed, but I was like, I'm going to eat it anyway. And that was a mistake. I really want to do like a blind food taste test on you and see if you can like pick. No, not for me, on you. No, I'm saying, yeah, do it to me. Yeah. So you could find out what, you know. It's so fresh. It's so gross. <laughs> like usually fresh stuff is better and I'm down with like organic. I don't even know if there's a difference. And People say there's not. I don't really give a shit anymore, but I'm not trying to be healthy. I'm not trying. I'm just, I just don't want my meat out. to smell like a barn. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Like I'd take 80, 20 over that. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't have an issue with that. I mean, I have an issue when it comes to meats also, but not the smells, just like the imagining, like, because, because of the way our minds work, like picturing it as an animal, like I won't eat meat on a bone because I can't Ugh. get my mind to differentiate between biting into the leg of an animal and just eating dinner. Like, obviously, oh, so you're like pulling off muscles and shit. Ugh. No. Yeah, especially like when it comes to like a chicken leg or something like that. No, it's horrible. Like, it's bar. Like to me, I just see it as like barbaric. Like, okay, this isn't like Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia, whatever. <laughs> Mesopotamia. <the> fuck. <laughs> fucking edit that out. This isn't like Mesopotamia. <laughs> no. We're not like fucking biting into like the leg of a dinosaur. Yeah. Like we've evolved, and you can eat meat in a different way, and. So I just can't get past that when it comes into biting into it. Like I have a, like, I'm not like, oh yeah, I'm eating this chicken. Oh yay, dead chicken. When it comes to like eating like a boneless chicken breast or something, but I can like. It's easier to disassociate. Yeah. I can like separate it from it being an animal on my plate and becoming like food and sustenance or whatever. But once you put the bone in there, I was at a party on. Uh, Saturday night and I I literally opted for Sam for <laughs> I can't even talk I opted for the salmon which I'm not really a huge fan of any fish or seafood but like I had that over the chicken because the chicken was literally like a breast with a bone or like a leg quarter 
with the bone and I'm like this is disgusting like how are you gonna be like so fancy but then at the same time I gotta pull meat off of a fucking carcass like yeah it's ridiculous like your hands get all dirty and it's no easy way to do it like just do it for me with a machine (laughs) come on yeah I can try to eat a breast like if I have no other option I'll (laughs) pick the breast because she said because there's a lot more meat on it so you're getting a lot more before you hit the bone that's also what she said (laughs) all right I'm done when I was younger I used to eat beef jerky like the Slim Jims all the time Mm -hmm. and then I read on the package where it said mechanically separated chicken and I had to stop eating it for like years because just those string of words fucked me up so hard (laughs) that I couldn't eat Slim Jims anymore I mean I don't want to fuck up McDonald's nuggets for you but you know how McDonald's nuggets are made I still eat Slim Jims now. Oh, I said okay. for years I couldn't. <laughs> okay. I'm back yeah. to it. I know about the mechanically separated stuff now, but yeah. just those words together grossed me out so much. Yeah. Like, but why'd you, you have to phrase to it like that? Stuff. That's why I you know. learn not to read stuff. I know. I'm done reading. It's the no more reading. mechanism. <laughs> oh. You got any more for me? Um... I have the word spice written down, but that's not really a word. <laughs> like, that doesn't even make sense. I don't like stuff that's spicy. I have a very low tolerance for spice. Like if I'm going to eat something that is spicy, it has to have very good flavor. Like Thai food, some Thai food, I mean, obviously like can be extremely spicy, but the flavor is really good and you can actually taste it even though there's a lot of heat. Yeah. So like I could deal with that, but like don't give me just like a bunch of hot sauce to randomly put on something because you're not getting like I feel like you're just getting the heat and you're not getting the flavor and that's not I hate things that are spicy just to be spicy yeah I don't know necessarily that's a weird a weird habit or not but I had that written down just the word spice and I wrote this list down like two months ago so maybe it was something else but that's all I'm getting I also can't handle spicy mostly I don't mind it but my mouth just can't handle it like if I eat something too spicy I can't eat anymore or I will be yeah I don't know I'll be shitting later too I mean hot shits are not fun like I can't even eat a jalapeno like that's too spicy to me yeah that's a little that's too that's a little weird I just don't have a high tolerance for it like my favorite Doritos are the sweet and spicy chili or sweet chili I don't know whatever the name of it is it's in the purple yeah, bag the purple the one the flavor yeah. is so good but I can only eat like two or three chips and then my mouth is on fire so bad but it's really great because it keeps you from eating too many Doritos because were you the one that gave me shit for only eating one flaming hot Cheeto the other night absolutely not I'm pretty sure you were because you could only eat one of them yeah because you asked me how I could stop at one. I said, oh, yeah, because like, how do you later. only eat one Cheeto? But that because was before it was I knew hot. they were. Yeah, no, I'm pretty I sure said you flaming flaming hot. Hot. I'm going to pull up our text messages. That is, was probably so long ago. I guess I could search. No, search. I'm already searching, bitch. You talk about something else now. Um, do you not have any more? Um, no. <laughs> Yeah, I said, why are Flaming Hot Cheetos so good? I can only eat one and then I have to stop or RIP my stomach. Yeah, I said, how can you only eat one Cheetos? I wasn't giving you shit because you only ate one Flaming Hot Cheeto. I was giving you shit because how could you... Well, actually, I wasn't even giving you shit. I'm just, how could you eat just one Cheeto? Because they're like one of those it was flaming hot. you need more than one of. Because I didn't want to shit myself. Yeah, like a regular Cheeto. I didn't have any. Better. Oh, I did have one other thing. I don't like artificial fruit flavor. I don't think that's weird. I think that's just bougie. I, I think only most want of them just stuff suck, to be regular. So. Like I want a regular fruit. I don't want a fruit flavor. Yeah, that's why I like those fruit snacks that have like all real fruit juice and stuff. Like there's ones that have like actual juice in them. And those are the best one. The Black Forest. They taste like real fruits. They're so good. Um, I think I only have one left and that's 
not even something I do now. It was something I did when I was younger, but like I had them every day. It was a peanut butter and butter sandwich. Oh my God, those are my favorite. You ate them too? Yes, because I didn't like jelly growing up. Oh, I did. But for some reason, my grandma would always make peanut butter and butter, but they were good as fuck. Yeah. I and you could jelly. not toast the bread. No, just regular fucking white bread with peanut yep. butter and butter. Also, yep. sometimes now as an adult, I'll put like a saltine cracker with peanut butter and butter and have like just a couple that of those good. like little tiny sandwiches. Yeah. It's like one of those little just cracker sandwiches but adding butter yeah you just have like two or three of those and it's like even better than a regular sandwich I feel like I need to get bread now because I want to eat one of these so much of this conversation had to do with bread and I don't even eat bread yeah like I, uh, why? yeah like I eat jelly now as an adult but only strawberry jelly and it can't have seeds in it I don't like the texture of it. It's always been really gross. And I don't like the flavor of grape jelly because it's artificial because fucking grapes are not fucking purple. Yeah. Like everything is purple when it's grapes grape. are 100% like purple. Not purple like a jelly color, like a bright ass purple. But there are like purple that. grapes. And well, they're, they're delicious. Red. They're more like a red. They're, they're purple. You ever had the grapes that are like the long? They're like elongated and they kind of yeah like they're super penis. weird <laughs> they're so good though it kind of tastes like a blueberry and a grape banged each other and made a penis <laughs> grape <laughs> do you like grapes with or without seeds um i mean i prefer without because i don't want to have to spit stuff out yeah i won't eat them if they have seeds i'm not working for fruit yeah like it already takes so much for me to eat fruit and vegetables that i'm not gonna do extra work for them do you like kiwis um I I'll eat a kiwi I, I don't really kiwi. buy fruit so like oh. if you bring me fruit I'll eat it I was listening to a podcast the other day and they were talking about different types of exotic fruits and like what's worth it and what's not and they were talking about kiwis being like so jurassic like they just seem like something that would be in like jurassic park or something just like this random ass Why? thing that you just like bite into because like it's fuzzy on the outside so like you would never think it would be like what it is on the inside you can like eat the furry outside as well as the inside and the seeds and stuff so they were talking about it like that and I was like I never really thought about it like that I always just eat it I don't yeah know. I don't think just about like, things mm, I just a, eat them that kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm like kind of allergic to banana and then I ate a banana this weekend why it would came you with, allergic to it it came with my french toast so why didn't you I was like, it's it on the anyway? plate. So you know. just ate it anyway? Yeah. Oh I was God. like, well, if they're going to put fruit on my plate, I should probably eat it because I don't ever eat fruit. So yeah, but don't eat the fruit that you're allergic to. I was just mildly annoyed for a few hours. It was fine. You it's going to be one die. of those things where one day I'm going to get like super allergic to it. You know how like there are some things, the more you eat it, the more you become allergic to it. That's going to happen to me and I'm going to fucking die one day because I don't have an EpiPen. You're like, oh, I'm going to fucking die because this pizza sucked. But I know I'm allergic to bananas and I'm just going to go ahead and eat it anyway. Because that's good. Like it. <laughs> I don't like bananas and smoothies and I'm sick of people putting bananas in smoothies. The only time I like a banana is sliced up very thin in a bowl of fucking Cheerios. Ew. That's literally um. the only time I eat bananas. I don't or banana bread, but that doesn't really count. Oh, uh, banana bread. That sounds so good. I make some bomb ass banana bread. I just feel like everyone uses that as the base for a smoothie. So it'll be like strawberry banana, peanut butter banana. And I'm sick of it. I just want a smoothie without banana in it. Yeah, it sounds kind of gross. Because I don't want to make a smoothie myself because that's a lot of cleaning of a blender. And it's just a lot of work. So you go anywhere and almost all the fruit smoothies include banana. It's like a filler and it makes me mad because it just overtakes the entire flavor. Yeah, and it's like really overwhelming, but not in a good way. Yeah. And then you have like artificial banana it tastes absolutely nothing like banana. It usually tastes like banana because you'll go to like, they'll use actual bananas, but no matter what you put banana in there that's the flavor like it's just banana with a hint of whatever else you put in there yeah 
and it's upsetting. I just want like a strawberry kiwi smoothie. That sounds good. Get that. That does sound good. I I barely ever eat smoothies. I don't know why I'm even <laughs> complaining about it. <laughs> oh, because you're trying to come up with a way to um, introduce fruits and vegetables into your life more. I used to make smoothies and I would just put like as many greens as I could and then hide it with all the fruit. Like I would just shove spinach and all this shit in there and then you couldn't taste it because I'd put so much fruit in there. Just like spinach and fruit. It was Just like rolling bananas inside a spinach leaf. It tastes good. I don't know, man. Yeah, try it. I don't like spinach. I don't like it cooked or raw. The only time I like that That's is why you put it in like a smoothie. A spinach dip. No, you put it with some fucking cream cheese and put it on a yeah spinach dip or something. Yeah, artichoke spinach artichoke dip. Amazing. I don't like artichokes. My God. Yeah. I thought you called me the picky eater, and you're like, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't. That's like two things I didn't like. There's been more than that. Okay, Miss. I don't even eat vegetables. I do when they're presented to me. I just don't go out of my way to like eat or make them because I'm lazy. Well, what do you make instead of a vegetable? Like, doesn't your stuff come with a vegetable? Yeah, but you're supposed to eat like a ton of vegetables a day. And I literally just get a side at dinner. You literally eat like one time a day. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) Earlier I ate goldfish crackers, so. Oh, wow. That's so much food. That's all I've eaten today. Yeah, no, no breakfast, no lunch, just goldfish crackers. I can't eat breakfast. I just can't. I'm not hungry when I wake up. It grosses me out. I've never eaten breakfast. Like everyone, all my family wants to go out for breakfast at like 7 a.m. First off, I don't even fucking wake up that early. Like, especially to get ready for that. And then they'll be like, fine, we'll do eight. And I'm like, I don't wake up before eight either. Make it like 10. 10 a.m. breakfast. That's what I want yeah we we go to breakfast almost every sunday but not every sunday but like a lot or we like we try to and like meet a friend for breakfast um and the earliest we ever go is 10 that's perfect breakfast time. And that's like so i have time to be up for a while like i need to be awake for like a minimum of an hour to be hungry yeah me too and i'll go at like seven i'm not hungry but i feel like i should eat something because everyone's eating and then i immediately have to poop because we're not I talking just, about poop in this episode <laughs> i just filled my body when it did not want food now it's like no yeah eject too much too much <laughs> <laughs> all right well on that note let's eject <laughs> out of this conversation and we'll catch you next week peace out